Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is June Lou, Seth Geisen from the Villager Cigar Studios. John McTavish, how you guys doing? We're rocking for fucking Ricky tonight, baby. What's going on, all the Developing Palettes people out there? It's your boy, Surgeon. Just a reminder to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We're going to bring it panel style tonight like we always do. Oh, yeah. That's right. Come on, June, uh, say something. <laughs> I don't give a shit about this guy. So whatever. <laughs> it's not just about him. It's about Sokka being a little baby and getting a little sensitive because I don't like a stick. But we're going to show some energy tonight. Oh, right, right. right. Yeah. All, All right. right. So tonight we're talking about the Protocol Bass Reeves Maduro. Uh, cigar is a Toro 6x52. Comes out of the San Latano factory in Nicaragua. Uh, rapper is Nicaraguan Dark Cabano. Buy and filler both from Nicaragua. It is blended by Hector Alfonso. Uh, price point is eleven dollars ninety five cents, and the cigar was released in January of two thousand and twenty two. So all that out of the way, June. What was your overall experience like? Um, I actually like this cigar of the Lawman series. I, I think it's one of the. This might be the only one that I truly like so far out of the Lawman series. I hate you um, for liking this. <laughs> really? I got you yeah. back, Jim. Um, I got you back. You all have. Yeah, John liked it too. <laughs> you all have each other's backs. Oh wow, Seth, you had a very different experience. Oh, uh, Seth was high wild turkey with this happens when you mix wild turkey with Nesquik. <laughs> CBD and wild turkey, baby. Woo! Uh yeah, I, I I got a lot of these like different kinds of spice and mineral notes out of this cigar. Um you know, some like stuff like celery seeds, which I pretty much never get, but uh, and by the way, when I write flavors down, people, it's because I actually taste these fucking flavors. It's not because I'm just like, oh, well, mm, let me see. Mm, let's see which <laughs> asshole I can get close to to get the most minute manure flavor or whatever. Anyways, um, baking spices, celery seeds, white pepper, uh, like graphite minerals. Um, there's also a softness and like a really nice, creamy, nutty, you know, toasted nuts kind of thing going. Um, retro was nice because it, it added that spice a bit more. Uh, which is always a welcome. Um, got some like nice tart cherries to it as well. Uh, super long finish. Uh, very long with that same mineral that I got uh, out of mouth draws. Medium full strength, uh, medium body. Uh, and, and this, what I just talked about within this flavor profile, uh, kept up within the first two thirds of the cigar, which nowadays I will take any day. All right, Seth, what were your thoughts? Yeah, listen, mine were like full. This was a beast. I don't, I thought this oh. was a beast of a cigar. You've been smoking uh, too many Dominicans, so I think that, you know, you gotta, uh, you gotta get some uh, tobacco in your blood. My, gosh, okay. gotta smoke more Bass oh. Reeve Maduro. That's right. No, it's the dark Habano, man. It got me, dude. So listen, I, this was, I was getting lots of pepper, lots of cocoa powder, lots of earth and minerals. Um, there was some espresso bean qualities, I think in the first third, it was, I, I found it to be average. Um, and then as the cigar progressed, I just got, oh, here's the photo. I like the purple, dude. Um, that purple's sick. Um, it just got to be too much minerals and in, in, in really dark, dry earth qualities. And it's, I, Johnny mentioned the Dominican thing. It, it's, I, I said this last time, I think, I don't know. I, I see this trend in Nicaraguan tobacco that I just haven't seen in years past. And I don't know if it's just the past couple of years, but it's, it's killing me, man. Killing me softly. Hey, John, what were your thoughts? Well, you know, I love talking about the legendary lawman Bass Reeves. And, uh, you know, between the two cigars, I kind of feel like this is more of a testament to legendary lawman Bass Reeves than the first one. We'll get into that more after we talk about the scores. But uh, I think a lot of the spice notes that were talked about, I'm going to echo those. So uh, great wood, great espresso. And the, and the espresso is like espresso. Like you're taking a shot of espresso. It's not like I kind of it's kind of hints of espresso. No, it's like it's like full espresso in your face with like a really nice chocolate to go with it. Uh, great pepper spice medley. Um, like it's just it's a medium full full experience in the first third. And then as June said, what's really nice is you get through the second third, you get this like great creaminess and chocolate and uh, different kind of spices playing with your palate. And then there's some breadiness. And I was like, holy crap, two good thirds. Wow, when's the last time I had two good thirds? I'm so excited. So I just about like, you know, wrote excellent at that point because I was just so excited to finally smoke a cigar that had two good thirds. Uh, the, the last third was still pleasant, but I think what happened was the either the, the way it was blended 
or my palate maybe was just so overwhelmed with goodness that the last third just didn't live up to that because I got like earth and mild spices and bread. So it was pleasant, but just not quite as dynamic. Um, of course, San Latano. What do we say about San Latano? Construction is always excellent. So great, great draw, great burn, uh, which is great because, you know, I was like, man, I really hope the uh, draw and burn doesn't suck here because it would really, it would really be a drag for be this to be the better of the two cigars for me, and then the construction to 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 not be good. But uh, that's funny good. If that was the one, like the San Latano, right? that Just knocked it out of the park, and yeah, the construction would just. AJ, like, AJ was like going through the factory. Uh, He's like, this this is fine. Just send today, it out. today I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. Gonna be positive. <laughs> so yeah, good experience, Aaron. What about you? Yeah, for me, the cigar started with uh, oak, dark earth, and baking spice. Got a little bit of mustiness that joined in a little bit later, and then the baking spice morphed into black pepper. Uh, dark earth joined a little bit later. Uh, second third saw the earth become dry. Uh, final third saw the pepper become very mellow. Um, so I had a decent flavor combination, um, but as the second third kind of uh, dried out a little bit, uh, with the earth and that kind of dropped the enjoyment level down a notch and kind of maintain that level the rest of the way. Um, you know, comparing this with the natural, uh, I thought this was a little bit better as the final third finished a notch above it. Um, I still don't see myself really coming back to this all that often. Um, but between the two, I would choose the Maduro over the natural. So, uh, getting into the scores, going to start at the top with John at 6.82. Uh, June was next at 6.62. I gave it a six even and Seth gave it a 4.53. So John, how that 6.82 match up for you? Listen, when I like something, I go all in and I really like this cigar and this is, you know, maybe it's partially protocol fanboyism, but honestly, it's a really good cigar. It's really well constructed. Um, I think it's a good combination of, of fill and wrapper and, uh, you know, there's no flaws in terms of construction. So uh, yeah, I'd smoke this again. I mean, if it was 8.95, I'd be happier, but what are you going to do? June? Yeah, I was really happy to put this past Reese Maduro in my mouth, um, smoke it. It was delicious. Um, this is this is a uh, Hector blended this right. Well, it says he blended it. You, you know, you know. As soon as you lit this up, you're like, "This is Hector." Yeah, you kind of know if it's Hector versus non, uh, right? So uh, I think I, so. I, I'll I'll do. I mean, I'll I'll take this any day um, over the other all the other stuff. So. Good job, protocol guys. Uh, my six even matches up well. Uh, slightly above average flavor profile, as John mentioned. Really good construction, so it gets it right to that six mark. So, um, yeah, better than the natural, but still not not hitting like the core line. So uh, it's a pass for me. All right, Seth, four point five three. Yeah, listen, I, I didn't think of Hector when when I lit this up, but that's because Hector blends a lot of different stuff. And he does. But I think this is more Hector's cup of tea. But Hector knows how to blend a lot of funky stuff, too. Yeah. yeah. But I just, this didn't speak to, speak to me. So it, I, I just got too much. I don't know. Maybe, no, nah, it probably wasn't mine. I just don't think it was a blend that, that I was gravitating towards. That happened. Uh, you make yeah. me so sad. So I sad. I ruined it for everybody. All right. Final thoughts, guys. Kind of did. So I like, ruined I, it for everybody. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're saying. So for those who, who haven't or have watched the natural video, one of the things we talked about was, you know, this concept of putting out two cigars. And I think one of the, one of the core concepts of, is like, first of all, it's not necessary. And I think everyone on the panel, with the exception of Seth, who hates Nick Rogan with tobacco or something, or just hates Hector, maybe, or maybe hates the guys at Protocol. Uh, I think this one was a clear winner between the two. Like, like if, you, if you had both these cigars and the factory's like, you know, what do you want to do? You want to run, run, you want to run two. And you're like two, the factory should be like, no, no, you only want to do the dark Habano. Cause that's clearly the better, the better cigar. And so I don't know, like, obviously we're biased cause it's subjective, but I don't know how you smoke those two and go, we're going to run both because somebody picking up the natural is not going to have a great experience. And I feel like someone picking up the Habano is going to have a great experience. I can see that. Um, I don't know if they just feel like they're handcuffed into this two cigar thing because that's how they started the series. Um, and they don't want to just go down to a single cigar. But I, I think that's the right way to do it. Just pick the one that works better between the two and just go. There's I mean, no, there's a brand owner, to... right? Who do, they, who do they have to answer to? It's not It's not like, yeah. uh, I don't think AJ 
at San Latano is, is, is saying to them, like, bro, you're not running enough cigars. You have to have a second line or I can't make it here. Like, right. I'm sure. Right. Yeah. I don't know. That might be. Oh, God, do you think that? Do you might think be that's it? it? Maybe they're not meeting minimum they quantities. To? They Maybe. have to do. They have to commit to something. That's true. I'll, I'll tell that's you true. what. I hope that this dark but Habano why can't wrapper you, can't, gets. Why, why wouldn't you just commit to one? If you had to commit to numbers, though, wouldn't you rather just do instead of two two blends? Can't you just do one blend? All one. Or 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 do this dark Habano in a different size. You know, what just I mean? do a barber two, two pole, guys. Just do a oh. barber pole. Shut up, Jay. Oh. Just that's do for the a pool. That's for the pool party. That's for the pool party. That's in for the 20, pool party. Twenty-seven. So, <laughs> giving away, giving away the project. <laughs> Junior, just, I just do <laughs> barber I, uh, pole. Duh. I, I legitimately thought this uh, this wrapper is quite good. I actually hope that they uh, protocol or Espinosa, if they can, reuse this wrapper because um, I really like that. I thought it really it was good. It was uh, every uh, we all got, I think we all got thrown off here because or at least I did because they're always doing a Habano and then it's what like Mexican yeah, yeah it's Mexican yeah. San Andre or, now or they Sumatra do an Ecu- or whatever now they do an Ecuadorian Sumatra and a Nicaraguan dark Habano I right. think they got creative which we're always telling them to do and I'm That's like I'm a, I'm a dickhead I told them to get creative and you did do it's and your I'm fault. like what the fuck are you guys thinking doing this <laughs> just keep doing what you're doing so. Next one will be a Mexican San Andreas, and I'm gonna like it. Oh. Tony, right now it's gonna be a six point oh. eight seven. Yeah. yeah, no more Mexican San Andreas. There's enough on the market. You know. All right. If you just catch this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us and check out the full written review on the website developmentpalace.com. Follow us on all the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, so iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one. Legendary Lawman Passery.